Hey guys, it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's Herb's comic book journey. So today I feel that we need to, we've been on Marvel for a minute, so I figured we should go ahead and dive in, back into DC. Uh, one of the uh, characters that I like on it is The Flash. You have different versions of it. You have Zoom, which is Hunter, <clears throat> excuse me, you have Hunter uh, Zolomon, which is Zoom. You have Wally West as Kid Flash. But this one is the more popular one and the one that's on TV, Barry Allen. So uh, is, this one is going to derive from the new 52 uh, Justice League Oregon or Justice League <laughs> Origins, Secret Origins. Um, so I, let, let's get into it. Uh, this one starts off when Barry was a kid. Uh, he his family was kind of on the rocks. You see that his uh, mother and father were on the rocks to the point to where his mother was wanted to uh, get a divorce. And in the midst of that, uh, Barry was kind of sad, but she always knew a way just to go ahead and cheer him up. And it's so much to the point to where he had a spelling bee and he actually won it. So when he came home to go and try to show, uh, tell his mom about, hey, I, I won the uh, spelling bee. Uh, so when he went to go and tell his mom about the uh, spelling bee, about how he won, before he could really even tell her anything, excuse me, he went to, his mom told him to go to the local comic book shop and go ahead and get something from there. Only problem was, when he came back, he came back to some real devastating news. He found out that his uh, mom was dead because the police officers that was there told him that unfortunate event that his father had killed his mother. Deep down inside, he was like, my father can never do this. He, that's just not the person that he is. And at the same, but also uh, he wanted to tell his mom, like he wanted to show her that he actually won first place and show her the actual trophy that he got. And one of the uh, officers uh, saw this little kid, uh, Barry Allen, the uh, younger version of Barry Allen. He was like, you know what, uh, my name, son, my name is Officer Fry, and I'm going to take you in. I, I see that you have a lot of ability. I want to bring the best out of it to, uh, for you, and I'll be the one that watches over you. Because they had to take him in. So, uh, since they had to take him in. So, Officer Fry, shout out to you, brother. Uh, you you took a, a young a young little champion like him in and shout out to you. Getting back to the story, uh, even though he was he's a really smart kid, um, he always felt alone in this pro uh, growing up. He saw um, he saw the fact that every single he wanted to become a forensic forensic scientist because his uh, he always wanted to solve the murder of his mother. Uh, he, he really felt like his father didn't just didn't have it in him to go ahead and kill his wife. So as he got older, he graduated top of his class and all and all of it and became a, eventually became a forensic scientist. Um, but then he went to go ahead and join uh, uh, the um, Central City Police Department uh, where he didn't really want to hold a gun, but he always wanted to go ahead and just solve all these problems not just his problems but just other people's problems because he wanted them to go ahead and have closure on all the uh, events that happen so like if you have uh any murders or anything like that he ha he wants to solve those issues so shout out to him very on that but on one faithful evening uh he was working on some work because in the morning he would work on um he would work the cases but then at night he would work his mom's case so one fateful night, he was working and a bolt of lightning came inside of the, uh, the room that he was in and it also and it hit some chemicals that was in the back. Those chemicals, including the flat, the, uh, the lightning bolt spilled on him and he was knocked out. When he came to, he saw that he actually had powers that he could just go ahead and zoom it this way, that way, this way. He was the fastest man in the world. And being the scientist that he is, he wanted to test every single uh, ability that he had. Um, so, when, but at the same time, he saw that, you know what? When people see police officers, they see the badge. They see the uniform. Well, you know what? I got a uniform for him. And this is where you see that he has the flash symbol with the red outfit, with the red uniform. And because he always wanted to be 
he wants to be the hero that Central City City needs. And in the midst of this, he, he uh, with, with the great power that he has, he taken out he took out gimmicky evil doers, so, <laughs> if you will, uh, such as Captain Cold, Mira, a uh, master, and Gorilla Grodd. So, um, and some other gimmicky bad guys. And with all this responsibility he kept taking in, he would look at it like, you know what? My mother is the driving force behind me being the man that I am. And I want to not just go ahead and solve her murder. I want to be able to to help the people of Central City and make sure that I could be the best hero that I could possibly be. And it didn't he didn't quit uh, necessarily quit on trying to figure out why his father was guilty. But he just knew that this would be the best way to begin his journey as the Flash. And that is the origin of the Flash, Barry, Go Barry Allen. So I know the other day I said I was going to go and do uh, Godspeed. Uh, I really feel like I wanted to go ahead and try something else. Uh, usually I do Origins. So I wanted to, uh, before we get into Godspeed, because eventually we will get back into Godspeed. I wanted to go ahead and just tap in and say like, hey, let's figure out who Barry Gordon, Barry, I keep saying Barry, <laughs> thinking Barry Gordon, Barry Allen, the Flash is. And so he's a real cool character. Um, I didn't necessarily like him in Justice League. He came off like a little bitch to me, in my opinion, but he's not really that type of person. Um... Yeah, I, I just, I, I like his character. Um, he's really cool. Uh, the Flash show is is really, really, really awesome. Um, so give it a, uh, check check that out if you can. Um, but yeah, uh, before I end this uh, video, I want to give a shout out to our uh, sponsor, Phoenix Fit. And uh, just to tell you a little bit about it, uh, this right here is Ch uh, Recharge Plus High Intensity Pre-Workouts, as you can see. And uh, I want to just say uh, yesterday was the first time, I'm sorry, not yesterday, Monday was the first time I actually did a workout, a, a really hardcore, wor uh, really, yeah, hardcore workout uh, since December. Usually, I can't even walk up the steps without huffing and puffing and everything. And I felt like whenever I got it, when I when I actually took it, and uh, all you have to do is just put one little scoop in, eight ounces of whatever uh, bottle you got. I got the little mixer, put uh, one scoop in, and right afterwards, I have felt like I had so much energy, I could go and I did two uh, extra workouts. Um, and I feel really great using it. Um, just the other day, I got the... Uh, the uh what the wine uh, i'm sorry not the wine i got one of the uh powder proteins that they have um i didn't open it yet but i will be having some today uh that one is the mint uh is the mint flavor so i'm going to try that out um this one is actually pretty good though i really felt like it was a great product i think you guys should check it out especially following me and the other guys uh fitness journey as you guys know Rick is the muscle head of our uh, of our blurred uh, guys. Um, I'm the heavy heavyweight, the super heavyweight, if you will. <laughs> so I want to try to get myself in the shape, uh, even during, especially during this pandemic that's going on. I want to be able to work out and get a better uh, get fit. Uh, so with ending that, be sure to look down in the in the description down here, and you'll see. Uh, check out our link and it'll send you straight over to our uh, to the website Phoenix Fit. Once again, shout out to them. And um, yeah, be sure to check that out. Um, I want to say uh, I want to uh, tell you what I will be working on next week. Um, with the unfortunate uh, passing of. I forget how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to leave it down here. Um, he is the artist for The Punisher and Luke Cage. 
Um, he's a longtime uh, artist, and I, I just can't pronounce his name, and I don't want to butcher it. So we're gonna. I'm uh, in honor of him. I want to go ahead and tackle uh, Marvel's The Punisher next week, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this one's a lot quicker than it was the last, <laughs> uh, the other ones. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed uh, following the story, and we will get into Godspeed eventually. I uh, just wanted to get you to got you guys to understand uh, the backstory behind Barry Allen, the Flash, and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, peace out. Like, share, subscribe on all social media platforms: uh, IG, um, t Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.